president. How are you? Mr. President. Where does the seal? That uh, Georgia will progress more modestly than we hoped for, but still progress towards the European Union. That we have no alternative for this. Of course, it should be based on uh, strong principles. We still have many issues out there in Georgia, like our Prime Minister, uh, former Prime Minister, still in jail in solitary confinement. You see that there is a problem with Ukraine when the Prime Minister is in confinement. And uh, uh, when we move to the Ukrainian stage, we might still face this problem. So we hope that this can be avoided by, you know, stronger rule of law, better institutions, and with Europe as a transformation of power for all of us. I'm very personally grateful for President Trump. He came to Georgia at a very important moment in other capacity, uh, in his national capacity at a very important moment. And all these years he has been a great friend, great advisor. I also came here to thank him for being such a great European and, um, and for all the things that we came, did together for, to bring our region closer to the Europe. First thing, first flag we raised when I became president was European flag. Nobody took it seriously. Now, nobody is taking Ansan seriously. Everybody is taking the issue seriously. We are already closer to Brussels uh, than uh, at the beginning. And so it's a good uh, summing up for me. So I came also for parallel visit. And uh, it's a nice thing to, be, to have this very nice and friendly conversation. But are you afraid of selective justice being directed towards yourself? Well, uh, I mean, it's all about country at this stage. and. Uh, I think different statements are being made, but I think there were also very strong statements made from the European side to this point. Very strong statements. And I think uh, points were made very clear, and I think these messages were very well heard by uh, Georgian authorities. And on a personal level, how do you see your future? In bright colors, thank you.